Tom, I'm, I'm just showing you a quick little video and you can see that we got the details back in it, you know. I'll chip away as I go along with it. Um, so, kind of all of this is done here, Tom. And you can see the detail back into the actual sections and they're on clogged, which is a uh, good way to be. And uh, I'm ready to start painting. Apart from, apart from when I got to here, I ran out of the brush head. It, it's an attachment. You can see we're back into being clogged here. And all the rest of them are done, so I, I'm going to unplug these and get a brush head. So I have bits at the end, and I've got these ones here. All the rest of the bars are done, and the bars are done here, right? Uh, but you can just see I need to go with these, and it's just it's the tops one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy's here, the same thing. It's, it's the top it's the tops on these as well and the same tops back and front and also the bottom sections here so it's 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 this section up Tom so I'm gonna brush them off well brush them off with the uh, grinder with the brush attachments and I'll do them tomorrow and then I'm going to put an undercoat on them tomorrow as well. Okay, I'll move the bag back in and I got the back of them done as well here, but I'll push the bag back in. Okay, chat to you later, Tom. Thanks, bye. So, just showing you here, Tom. I've finished, you can actually see the profiles are all cleaned up. Um, so, and I've also got some epoxy uh, resin filler in and it's it's the top joints where the water's sitting and I've kind of tried to push the water out from any things and look as it settles and as we get coats I may need to put a little bit more on but we can adjust it as we go along the bottom ones uh, are all solid you can see there's no weathering on the lower lower sections so I tidied them up as well a bit and grind them down and um, so I got these ones done this morning and then I've got these ones done as well they were the other ones that needed to be done and um, I'll see how I go and you see little voids like that see little voids like that and um, it may need some more or I'll see how I fill it up with the paint but I can adjust it as we go along like there's a better there's a better one there where there's no indentation so if it needs more I'll adjust it as we need to go on and anywhere there's a little bit of over I can rub it off and just tidy it up uh, but at this stage the profiles are good enough to take it so you can just see there and you can see I put some of the joints uh, and then there's other ones that are smooth and don't necessarily look like they need it i.e. they're flat and there's no there's a little bit of a runoff so they're not too bad and then this joint here I tried to cover it up and what was happening was a lot of water seemed to be getting in at this joint and sitting because it's a different level so water was dripping onto one and hopefully it will kick off there and uh, so we'll see how it dries we'll see how it dries and then we can adjust this but there's my initial uh, the initial prep work done and as you start to paint you can continually do prep work as you keep adjusting and keep seeing things and so that's where we are so I already have three liters of the top coat so I picked up the uh, hmm. so there's the product there perma prime that's the undercoat and there's TML 90 that's the top coat 
and I also have another tree inside. I haven't done any adjustments up here yet, uh, I'll do that after. After uh, I start to paint, I'll do that just, just after lunch. Thanks Tom, talk to you later, bye. Just, um, here's the first top coat. And uh, the weak point is, is here, and you can see, you can see it's kind of tacky, so I'll leave that for for a while and then we'll come and I'll get a second coat on it later on. So what I'm going to do is I'll get a second coat on and next week I'm going to come back. I'm, I'm only up the road and I'm going to keep on doing this section here and the bottom of the, of the railings on the gates both levels and the handrails so they're they're the ones that i'm going to keep i'll get two coats on this one today second coat and then that'll be three overall but what i want to do is i want to get four or five or six onto these levels here and the other bit that i want to do is this area here i need to move the van you can see pool in there so that that really is i need to let that sink in and then I need to fix all of that pooling on this side and uh, so I kind of missed that I guess with the van being so close so Sorry. Sorry, I nearly bogged it. Sorry for that. And I, I did put a bit of my garbage in there, but don't worry, I'll take it out at the end. I, I just want to clean out the van to be able to get some, some things. Once again, this is the same Tom as down below. Uh, the weak point is going to be here. It's going to be on the railings. You're not going to have as much water sitting here as you would on the other ones because it, it's beveled and two, it's a smaller size. The only place you're going to have any kind of water really pooling is around here. But this is at three coats already. I put a second undercoat on this late last night because it was the very first thing I did. So I, I felt pretty comfortable that it was dried out enough. So that is on three coats now. And we'll try and get another two or three coats on the another coat in the railings. And you can see there's bits that just need more. Another couple of coats on the railings. And then the, the uprights, I should say. And then the hand railing. We'll, uh, we'll keep on going, but I'll send you a second video later on. I, I doubt very much there's going to be much difference between them because we're it's it's top coat on top coat, but I'll send it on to you later on. Thanks. Just so that's two coats on today. So that's three overall. So that's us done. Bar a little bit of repairs. I, I just went over some of them, and some of them are just aesthetic to put it in at the front, and some of them are. Uh, some of them are functional. All of these had indentations on either side of it, so I wanted to make it smoother, so I built up that area there 
and in all honesty I couldn't uh, well it was up to me I I really need this to get it out of the clear so I backed the van out and then I could get out um, and then I put a little bit this stuff is a bonding agent as well as an epoxy so it kind of does two in one sealer bonder and uh, epoxy so that section that section there was a little bit loose so I joined it in there so and I'm up the road next week so I'm gonna come back and what I'll do is I'll be painting at this stage with three coats it, it's it's a the specifications that we agreed to but the tops I'm going to do the tops another couple of times because that's where the water is sitting so the tops here tops down below tops all the way along there as well because that's where the main erosion takes place and very very little on the actual railings if any you know I did the railings in the bushes as far as I can get to them. Uh, now there was a little bit, there's a wire mesh over all of them so it's very very hard to get anything more over there. It's totally overlapped and then here as well okay so have a good weekend chat you next week thanks Tom